So it's pretty easy. You can just come to the record and click on change. So on the owner name, there is an uh, there is an option called change. You can click on this and select a new owner. So in, that owner again should be a user registered within your Salesforce. So I think uh, for this account we do not have any other uh, owner option. But this is how a, uh, a transfer of a single record works. What if I want to transfer multiple records? Okay, again the same concept. Uh, think about the situation when one uh, you know there is a uh, person who is leaving the team. Okay, uh, someone has resigned. There's a sales guy who owns a few accounts and he has resigned and he is leaving. And there's another salesperson who will start taking care of his accounts. So. Again, if there are you know 500, 600 accounts under his name, you cannot start transferring it one by one. So you'll have to do mass transfer. Okay. So mass transfer is simply transferring some data from one owner to the other owner. How do we do that? Go to setup. data management say mass transfer records what do you want to transfer let's say you want to transfer accounts click on transfer accounts say transfer from so transfer from should be the person from whom you want to transfer transfer to because we just have one user here I am selecting the from and to the same person but you should ideally choose two different people here right and then remaining all the things are same so you just have to put up search criteria and then you have to transfer that data. Let me use the same search criteria. So you put the criteria, it will show you a list of records. We are transferring accounts, right? Okay. Did I really throw some result here? Yeah, because we are, we, we are not selecting a different uh, owner. So there are no records for which this guy is not the owner. So he is already the owner. That is the reason why it does not show any results here. Right? But uh, whatever. So we need to select a user as transfer from, we need to select a user as transfer to find the data and then again the same way, select all those records, click on transfer, right. So that is how this transfer process will work. Okay, 
I think we have a question here. Can we change the owner to system default and not the user ID? Is that concept of system default? No. So uh, there is a question whether we can actually uh, you know make system default as a uh, owner or something or transfer it to the default. No. You will always need to transfer it to a user. So owner of a record always needs to be a valid user. Okay. It cannot be. Alright. So this is alright. We are fine with this. Mass transfer, mass delete. Clear on it. Okay. Now the other thing is As yesterday we were talking about the data loader part also, right? So, uh, were you all able to uh, download and install data loader on your systems? Could you all do that? Anyone who was not able to download or install data loader? So I am hoping everyone uh, could you know download the data loader and all right. So I'll just uh, you know in case you have downloaded or installed data loader after installation as I showed you yesterday this is how it will look right. So what are the advantages of using data loader? I mean, can we just uh, you know have uh, two, three points? What are the advantages? Why would we use data loader? Any one of you? Why do we use data loader? Because it has a few advantages over the regular import wizard or the export option. So basically Yeah, someone has said flexibility, uh, someone talks about 5 million records of load, can view the error log, right, absolutely correct. So, I mean, for people who have, you know, uh, missed out on that, let me just uh, give you a quick overview of it. So, what is data loader? Data loader is a standalone application which is used for performing data management operations. <clears throat> okay, so this is something that you need to install on your system. So we have data management options available here as well as uh, through the data loader we can do the data you know, upload or export so to install data loader you just need to go to the data loader option which is available under setup data management there is an option called data loader so anyone who has not downloaded or installed please